Yeah, the m- movie like that doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but then you, you some sure of those right. jokes. It sounds really good. Okay, perfect. I think, right? Good? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me on yours? I can. I can hear everybody. You can hear me? Do I sound hot? I can't hear Caitlin. Oh, no. Yes, I can. Okay. Can you hear Caitlin? <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you just might have to up me in post. Yeah. Well, up you in post. Who up cares? Me in post. I want to up Caitlin in post. Okay. Come on. That's you enough. Got a life, Peter. So what? <laughs> so what? So I'm thin deal. now. <laughs> yeah, <can't laughs> I have that effect on men. I'm very thin now. I you lost a whole thin. pant size. That's from really whole thirty. That's really commendable, and we're very proud of you. It's been five. And days. I noticed it. <laughs> In one week, actually. That's but incredible. You lost the whole pant size in one week? Yeah, because of this whole 30 thing. You wow. figure out what you're allergic to, and apparently I'm allergic to something that I've been having every single day. <laughs> Latte. She's been drinking a lot of milk. She's <laughs> no. a milky lady. <laughs> Not a milk girl. She's, she's full of milk. <laughs> I was. Not you what? Sorry. Sorry. No more milk, no more <laughs> cheese. <laughs> no more and milk. apparently Caitlin's, ooh, mwah. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's got udders to burn now. <laughs> <laughs> milk no more. Milk, milk no, no more. more. <laughs> it's like that, uh, it's like uh, sleep no more, but it's with milk. It's no, just we like got sleep it. no more. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Two Burrows. <laughs> Hi. Uh, episode nine. Episode Thank you nine. so much episode for joining nine. us. Yeah. Yeah, it's a new podcast. <laughs> it's a new okay. podcast yeah. in a new space. It's a new space. As you okay. see, we're not in my apartment. We're at Jungle Studios. Jungle City Studios. A lot of r- uh, the other rich and famous people come here to record. Um, yeah. We know them. Yeah. We know everybody. We've smelled them all. We sm- <laughs> <laughs> I've smelled Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is what Travis Barker smells like. Yeah, Travis Barker. Yeah, yeah, the drummer. Oh, 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 oh! I, th- I mentioned Travis Scott. Oh, Travis she got Scott. And you said Travis Barker. <laughs> I was hoping it was Travis. Yeah, Barker. I know, I know. I was like, I don't think it was that. <laughs> I, I mean, love it's not Blink a bad. Br- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one armed, <laughs> whatever this. He doesn't He's have one arm. Armed. He w- he was gonna lose it, right? He was he was like infirmed. Didn't he get into like a uh, helicopter accident? No, he got in a plane crash, and all of his friends died. Thanks for bringing it up. Oh, Way to okay. bring that all up. Right. Well, plane he crash, loved, helicopter. He loves bringing up the naughty stuff. Naughty? But, but I don't know if it's naughty. It's just devastating. Yeah, devastating. Yes, he loves. Get over it. He does bring up the naughty stuff though too. He's bringing up the naughty stuff. I'm a naughty boy. <laughs> 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 Disgusting. <Oops. Yeah>. <laughs> 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 you know, you know what I wanted to do is a little creepy thing be like. I know. I know where your birthmark is. Ew. Yeah, <laughs> oh boy. Disgusting. You want me to leave? No. Please no, don't. No, you need <laughs> <laughs> please don't. You said I need you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she does. She divides us. That's what it is. <laughs> Don't 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 fall for her feminine wiles. Are you going to introduce milkless. me on this fucking podcast? It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. God forbid. Jeez oh my Louise. god. Today Just we're joined the by Caitlin Palufo, <laughs> hilarious stand-up comedian. And she is not from New York, but she's lived here for how many years? 14 years. 14 years. Does she get her card yet? Yes. I you vote yes. I think 10 plus. You're you're you get a you get a card. You're not a New Yorker, but you get a special card. Uh, what if you have a car it. in New York? That's like an extra, extra five. Extra points I feel like. for sure. For sure, extra points. I agree with that. I yeah. do because I feel like that it helps you really see the city in a different way too. You're not just on the train. Anyone can see you on the train, but when you're driving in the city, yeah, you really get the feeling of the uh, of the city and like how barbaric everyone is. Every, it's it's, a it's crazy. A monstrosity. I love driving in the city. Me too. It is my favorite thing to do uh, when no one's around, like two in the morning. Oh, you're just great. driving yeah. through the city. That's nice. Cruising down Second Ave. Mm-hmm. Listening to uh, yeah, taxi driver soundtrack, being like, you know, there's these people. They're all animals. Want a rain to come over and wash everyone away. You guys understand what I'm saying? Jesus, I don't you're listen so to dark. soundtracks. I don't listen to soundtracks. <laughs> <laughs> but I do listen to good Drake. music. Yeah, you like Drake. I you do like, like Drake. Drake. He <laughs> loves Drake. He can't get enough of Drake. Drake hates women. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> he yeah, fine. Yeah, he yeah. Wants all his women to be like sixteen and pure. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's so gross. Well, that's not the worst part of. It. I mean, that's I, I can understand that thing. But <laughs> <that's not laughs> stop it right now, creepy Pete, with your man butt. <laughs> come on, come on. Sixteen in Italy, it's it's okay. Uh, no, in Italy, it's okay. <laughs> in Italy, it's all right. <laughs> and I'm Italian. Yeah, what do you want on. from this Italian yeah, I'm boy? I'm a quarter Italian. I don't know. <laughs> it's in my Give blood. Me a break. <laughs> Gross. I'm going through a divorce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, my wife. But no, she's good. She's good. <laughs> Still in the attic. She's in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
Caitlin, <laughs> catch up with so my on the podcast. My wife is mentally ill, so we keep her in the attic. Yeah, <laughs> so Jesus <running> Christ, <laughs> what so did running. I agree to be on? <laughs> Listen, I mean, we ch- you're acting like it's bad in the attic. It's <laughs> nice in the attic. It's a nice attic. <laughs> it's a nice AC <laughs> heat. <laughs> he gives her water. <laughs> Does she have to drink it out of a bowl no, on the of floor? Co- no, that's, that's no, don't be that, ridiculous, yeah. Caitlin. She drinks it out of <laughs> the water fountain that he installed that is specifically <laughs> only for her because yeah. she's mentally ill. It's full of medication. <laughs> <laughs> I crush up a lot of pills in that, and I just keep... Jesus But she's Christ. she's good. She is good. <laughs> I know your actual wife, and she's wonderful. She she's not in the attic. No. Yeah. No, she's cool as hell. You were going to say something about, before we started, about uh, babies. Oh, yeah. Well, my wife out of nowhere, she's just like, yeah, if you feel like you have an urge to really have a kid, you got to let me know before I'm 40. I'm like, that's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's a wise woman. It is very fair. She's like, so I'm, not, I'm not doing it after 40. And it's like, that's understood. But like, we weren't even talking about. We were watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> there was silence. <laughs> there was no there was no baby on, on the on the TV. There was Nothing. just silence and yeah. then she just looks over to me and is like, If you feel like you really want to be a dad, hop to it. Yeah. Like or like ba- you know, she's Does she's she got three. Be a mom? I th- I think so. I mean you say that. I mean you, I mean you can't tell from that statement, but So no. do you want kids? Do I want kids? Yeah. Uh at this rate, it's not looking good. You'd you know? be a good dad. With what money? Oh, yeah. who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say figure that. It I out. have no money. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Uh, you figure it out. You figure it's it out. It's never the right time, but I right. think it is. I th- yeah, I think there's better and worse times. I think the world is overpopulated and uh, people are having too many kids. Yeah. Um, even though everyone's like, birth rates are down, the future of the world is in our hands. But like, They are down, though. I know, which is good. Yeah, I have a friend. He has three kids, and that, like, for people our age, is it's mind insane. blowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like having eight kids in the yeah, '60s. You're yeah. like, how could you? <laughs> three kids? Yeah. Three kids. He lives in New York. He d- he lives in Staten Island. Yeah. Holy mm. shit! Could you imagine them just sucking all the life out of you? <laughs> it seems like it's all hard. the money out of your bank account. I think I just want one kid. That but the, seems but nice. The only ki- only child. Th- I would agree with you guys, but every only child you know, they're a little. Yeah, my cousin's an only child, city. and he's all right. If you're he, born he in the us. C- yeah, if you're in the city and you have, like, I feel like the city makes you, like, it toughens you up. You, you don't get babied as much because it's New York City. You're going to get the shit kicked out of you. Speaking of babies, I had a niece. Oh, yes. congrats. Yes. She's yes. the cutest thing oh. in the whole world. My sister gave birth to a beautiful seven pound, seven ounce wow. Margot Janine Bowler. Margo's wait, wait, wait. Margot Janine. Name. Margot Janine. Yeah. That is Janine, a fancy not Janine. Janine, but oh. Janine is like French. Oh. That's yeah. a very fancy name. I yeah, love that. Margo yeah, Janine. Very Margo good. Janine. Margo Janine. She's Janine. beautiful. She's so perfect. And uh, she's really cute. And it's so crazy to hold a little newborn baby. It's they seem so fragile. They're s- not just as like fragile as you think. sneeze and they'll fucking fall. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really allowed to <laughs> hold <laughs> baby. Yeah. I'm surprised you're here. There's a school across <laughs> the street. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think we picked the space? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean I won't tell your parole officer. Yeah. <laughs> They came near me. I didn't come on. They came near I, I didn't go near them. <laughs> yeah, right. It doesn't count if I'm up. I'm up in the air. Yeah. So yeah. they're down there. That's doesn't gotta really count. count. That's fifty feet. Yeah, that's fifty feet. <laughs> it is fifty feet. Upwards. Yeah, I'm just like staring down from a tower. Oh yeah. God, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing down there? <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter. Hopscotch. <laughs> I love hopscotch. a hopscotch. Ooh, they're jumping rope. <laughs> Got to stretch, kiddos. You're <laughs> going to pull a hammock. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Come on. Disgusting. It's not, it's not bad. Disgusting. It is bad. Disgusting. It's all... <laughs> Jeez, well, everyone's horrific. so uptight these days. I have to, I have to say it on, <laughs> on yeah, yeah. tape horrific. that I think it's bad. Yeah. Horrific. Come on, man. This, we're all just humans. Yeah. <laughs> So 14 years, you've been in New York. 14 years, I've been in New York City. What was the coolest, what was your favorite apartment that you had in these 14 years? Oh, Oh, that's a great question. God, I've had a few great ones. Um, I've been very lucky. Uh, I loved living, um, I had this one spot for about, I think it's six years. It was, uh, yeah, it was an apartment uh, in Crown Heights. Is that the one I've been to? Yeah, you've been to that one. You helped me move out of it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I loved that apartment. It was really nice. It was beautiful. I had the big room in the front. There was so much sunlight. 
it was a quiet street, but then you go down the street uh, to Franklin Avenue, and it was just Perfect. a bunch of bars and yeah, coffee yeah. shops and everything. So my friend Flora, she's from Miami. Some of you might know her. She's a comedian. Um, she lived in Crown Heights, and she was calling it The Heights. Oh, no. No, that's not cool. That's upsetting. Washington Heights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, Flora, you don't live in The Heights. She goes, yes, I do. I live in Crown Heights. And I said, you're such a silly goose. Yeah. yeah. Silly goose, you ignorant fool. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you idiot. Let her know. She's not... She doesn't have her New York card spouting no, off nonsense like that. She no. doesn't. But I laughed. I laughed really hard. I mean, I was at her apartment, and she goes, "Yeah, I love the Heights." And I go, "Oh, did you live there ever?" She goes, "Yeah, I live there now." Idiot. Idiot. So that was your favorite. That was your favorite. Lin Manuel Miranda. Is that where he was from? I had such a hard time. Well, he had made that movie in the Heights. In the Heights. It was a play first, musical, and then they made it a movie. Yeah, I've not watched any anything that he's done. Have you ever seen Dylan out? Adler's Lin Manuel Miranda impression? It's oh my great. God, it's incredible. He's very funny. Dylan Adler, very funny comedian. Look him up. Look him up. Give yeah. him a goog. But Give yeah, I loved Crown Heights. I worked there too. I worked two blocks away from oh. where I lived. Was that? Uh, oh wait. And I had a very fun five years. They were very drunk. Yeah, that's important to live. We got drunk close. a couple of times. Mm -hmm. That was fun. It's yeah. important to live close to where you work. Mm -hmm. A commute, it will really suck the life out of you. Yeah. These people that live in Pennsylvania and come to New York every day, I go, what are you doing? Yeah. Two hours back and forth, four hours of your life every Monday through Friday is in a car. That's great. But then they can traffic. listen to our podcast, though. They can't listen to our so podcast. Listen to our podcast. If you got a shitty commute, turn it around by listening to Two Burrows with there Caitlin. You go. <laughs> with Caitlin. I guess I'm the Brooklyn Borough. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you would be. Uh, we, 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 you've only lived in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, this is my first year living in Astoria. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you live in Queens now. <sighs> Worse or better? Like yeah. I like Astoria very much, uh, but I loved, loved, loved Brooklyn. Yeah, it's you definitely know? cooler. Well, I just loved, like, Astoria. It's like families. Yes. You know what I mean? It's very safe. It's very quiet. And then Brooklyn, it was very, I had something on every corner. Debaucherous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could get into a lot of trouble. Yeah, I love getting into trouble. You do. I'm a little bit of a troublemaker. Yeah. yeah, that's me. But it's also probably for the best. Now that I'm so thin, I shouldn't be getting into <laughs> so much trouble. Ooh, maybe you'll get into a little more trouble. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm engaged. She is engaged. So it's still it's still time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how you look at it. Yeah, there's still. Uh, no, 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 she's not married yet. Yeah. She's engaged. You're right. In the eyes of God, it's not real until yeah. until you get this thing. Mm. All yeah. right. You got a ring. I do, yeah. I almost lost it that night. But Caitlin was at uh, my wedding. I was. Yeah. You almost lost it at wedding night? I did. That <laughs> night was wild. It was fun. I blacked out. Nice. Did you really? You were in pretty good <laughs> shape. I mean, you were a little, I mean, like, you, I was like brown out. But <laughs> they, I wasn't like I lights was are off. brown out. And then as soon as we got into the cab, I was like, lights out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anything. <laughs> Hell yeah. You were, it's fun though. You're, you're good. It's not like messy. It's not like, you're not like crying or anything. No. You're like, let's just keep having the best night <laughs> of our lives. You're like, yes. Yeah, everyone was like, we're going to go. And I was like, there's an after party. Right, yeah. We're going to the after party. <laughs> and then uh, me and like three people went. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. It was funny. <laughs> they did a bunch of drugs, and I was just. There was like some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do any drugs. I'm a nice young lady. You right. don't do drugs. Um. Sometimes I'll um have an edible. H. Okay. No, I've never H. done. I've no done H. Molly. That's okay. it. Okay. And that was in Brooklyn. Did Memories. Did you mm. have a good time? I uh, loved it. Yeah. That's why I never did it again. Yeah. You did it good. one time. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Because it can really. I feel like it can really fuck you up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, especially me with my little bipolar disorder. Oh. Yeah, you can't Molly like take any drugs. Straight into a manic episode. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you learn that the hard way? Yeah, or that's yeah, what Molly yeah. is. It's a manic episode. Yeah. It's a little dose of mania. And people go, "This is amazing." And I go, "Baby, I've been on that for years." <laughs> <laughs> I've got that mania. <laughs> mania is where it's at. <laughs> yeah. I've only, I've taken Molly a few times, not like a ton, but like. I went one time, we went to, uh, it was like me, Usama, and like a couple other people, him on Molly, Us Usama Siddiqui, he's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like, he's he's that, you talk about person. mania, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was like still judging people. Like I was on Molly, but there was all these people with like pixie dust and they had like glitter all over. I'm like, you guys, and they're like 35. I'm like, what are you doing? I was in Atlantic City once and we did a little Molly uh, with uh, some friends and some friends of friends. And this kid uh, looks at me and he goes, Man, I feel really happy and really sad. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, the drugs are making me happy, right? But the people are making me <laughs> sad. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, this is the Nan- Atlantic City commercial right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the truck the commercial for Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. But we, uh, so we were at the, so we was at this rave, and then there was this, like, I was feeling, like, good. Like, but, like, and there was, like, this, this girl there, was, and, uh, I was just like I wanted to compliment her. Yeah, like you look very. I want to compliment, but not in a creepy way. Jesus yeah. Christ! I know, I'm already. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she was in the corner. Oh I'm just no! Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, so I was in the woman's bathroom. I'm trying to give her a compliment, <laughs> and she's getting weird. Okay. <laughs> She is acting very weird. Okay, yeah, I yeah. just I followed into the bathroom. I was like, wait, wait, wait. no, no. Uh, <laughs> knocked. So I knocked on the stall door. <laughs> yeah, I was polite about it. Gave her a, gave her a ten second door. warning. <laughs> I'm coming in in ten. I got something to say to you. I was really. Sweet You're gonna love it. it. Yeah, but no, I was just I I don't know. Like a mile, I was I was on drugs and I was just like, what is like I don't know. So I was just I wanted to be like, oh, you have very beautiful teeth. You have yeah. nice teeth. You're so. gonna come. Teeth? I you said it. Fuck. I know. Well, I thought that's like a neutral thing. I'm not yeah, like yeah. you have a nice body. Your I'm face saying you li- have a nice mouth. I like your mouth. Your, I well, didn't say I like your mouth. I said you have beautiful teeth. Yeah, yeah, that is different. Okay. Yeah. And then she's like, <laughs> "You have beautiful teeth." Thank you. Yeah. And she's like, "What did you just say?" I'm like, "Oh, you have beautiful teeth." <laughs> and she was like, "Did you just say I have beautiful tits?" I'm like, "No, no. I mean, teeth. Yeah, teeth." But then I felt weird. I have to be like, "No, your tits are good too." Oh, no, no. I, didn't, I didn't say that. No, I knew that. In my head, I was like, yeah. all right, I know that. I was Don't just like, no, that. nice tea. That's all I was saying. And then uh, and then I was asked to leave. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How would she react to the nice teeth? She just said thank you. She was also on Molly. So oh. she's like, that's oh, very okay, nice yeah. of you. Because that will yeah. send you in a spiral. If, if someone said something mean to you on Molly, that would be bad. Or mushrooms. Oh, my Oof. God. One time, I was at my friend's birthday party. Fantastic time. We're having a great time. It's uh, this like crab fest that they throw every year, and I'm smoking a cigarette, and I, I'm done with my cigarette, so I throw it out. We're outside, mm-hmm. and the woman who owns the house looks me in the eye and she goes, did you just throw your cigarette on the floor? <laughs> I said, yes. Yes, I did. She goes, this is my property. Don't you see the can? And I look over. Please put your butts here. And I go, I'm so sorry. And I, I look for the cigarette, and I throw it in the can. She goes, you're never allowed back here. <laughs> oh my God! You were and a I mushroom. Was on a ton of mushrooms, <laughs> and it sent me in the worst spiral ever. I grabbed my friend and said, "We gotta get the fuck out of here right now." You're never allowed back here. Yeah, you're never. You should have really, really thrived it up. <laughs> this is my last time here. Right, I'm gonna right. live Woo! it up. <laughs> Steal shit from the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. One never coming back. <laughs> my brother was on acid, and my mom came home. Yeah, and I forget what it was. We after my parents got divorced, we really kind of fucked up the house a little bit. We were yeah, really, yeah. we were like, you know, Three we were boys. also going through stuff. But we were like, yeah, just throwing parties a lot, and we it wasn't great. But she she came home one time, and he was on acid, and I forget it was must have been a wreck. And she just looks at him, and she's like, Mark, you're a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> on acid. <laughs> on acid. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you? Go? Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All hard, right. Hard to bounce back from your <laughs> mom telling you you're a disaster, <laughs> disaster. on acid. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, Poor guy. I'm gonna one. try. I'm gonna try to get better. You know, there's <laughs> no like. How do you? Yeah. Did he ever take acid again? Oh yeah, yeah. He, he's a disaster. <laughs> yeah, you gotta <laughs> come on. So he's gotta live up to the prophecy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did he? He might have. Maybe one more after that. I'm not sure, but it wasn't many. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah. You're the youngest, right, Pete? Middle. Middle. That's yeah. why. Yes, yeah. that's why we Explained get along so well. So much. I got an older brother and a younger sister. Nice. She's a doctor. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's really the breadwinner yeah, of the family. She's, yeah, she's <laughs> making a lot of them. She's up on the Upper West Side right now. She oh showed yeah. me her space. Gorgeous. The apartment itself is nice, but she has like a, a concierge and like a like racquetball, basketball court. Wow, good for Pool. her. I know. What Get kind of medicine? Uh, emergency medicine. Whoa. That's a she's tough one. She's seen some shit. She's busy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. And it's cra- I'm, I, t- I try to like... I'd love. I wish there was like a take your brother to work day, yeah. <laughs> right? I would love to just to go and watch her deal with these people. Yeah, just uh, you know, yeah. She was like during the height of COVID, she was like slammed and yeah. yeah. Did you ever go to take your daughter to work day? I went with my aunt Sue. She took me uh, to Genentech. Nice. They what would is have that? a. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's a bio lab place. Yeah. And so they would r- bring and it was huge. Mm-hmm. It was like a compound. They had like multiple buildings and stuff, and so they had a big take your daughter to work day. And she would bring me, and I got to like use like the pipettes and all that stuff cool. and do science experiments. Whoa. It was very fun. My uncle worked at Conde Nast. He was the business manager for GQ for many years. Whoa. Wow. And he took me to his take your son to work, take your kids to work day. 
it was insane. We went to the Bon Appetit kitchen. We made snacks. They wow. gave us a gift bag that was insane. It was so, 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 it's so, so cool. funny that the their hope is that we become big entrepreneurs or scientists and then look at us <laughs> just sitting on a couch not knowing how to make a microphone work. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> just like the base level of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or watching other people fumble because, like, we're yeah. even worse. Like, they weren't even good at fixing it. And then I'm just like, I have no, I have no <laughs> idea. I don't no know. Idea. Did not you try switching the mic? Uh, yeah. yeah. Did, you, did, you, did you try that? Did you did turn, you turn it, it off? It off? <laughs> Yeah, of power course. off. <laughs> yeah, we had a little trouble here, but now we're up and running. We're cooking good. We're but cooking with gas, baby. But before, yeah, we had a little. It was <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, this is going to make a whole new stock of scientists. And yeah. that's my worst, yeah. worst subject in school. <laughs> Mine science? too. Yeah, science science and math I, I definitely struggled with. You no, know, I never no took surprise. chemistry. <laughs> Which one? No, that's no surprise. No, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> math? I never took chemistry or physics. Ever? I was so bad at science that they gave me earth science and forensics. Here, buddy, study some rocks for a while, huh? Yeah. And you're like, okay. You ever fuck with tobo- topography maps? <laughs> 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 you kind of seem like yeah, a substitute teacher who's <laughs> trying to reach the kids. <laughs> you're no, like the substitute. <laughs> hey, hey yeah, kids. Let me speak to you on your level. You ever fuck with topography <laughs> maps? <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Miss Johnson is out with the flu. <laughs> she, she's pregnant. No, we're going to watch that. a movie <laughs> about topography. I just show them like volcano. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I know that they make very cool um, pictures in frames. They do. Be, uh, for those of you that don't know what a topography map is, <laughs> when there's a mountain, they have to make a, mount, uh, uh, a map of it. So they do these gradients uh, with like circles, and they show you like this is the elevation that gets more elevated and more elevated. This is down line. I shouldn't have talked about. It. <laughs> 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 I, just, I just didn't think you'd be explaining what topography yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a hard. But if you, I mean, but they are beautiful maps. They are beautiful, beautiful maps. maps. Say what you right. Say what you will. They're gorgeous. Say what you want about rocks. Yeah. <laughs> They make a good map in the living room. What'd you learn? This rock is brown. <laughs> <laughs> this rock is black. This Did is quartz. <laughs> <laughs> it dolomite. breaks in half. Or does it? Cleavage. Remember that? Okay. What? Cleavage. Ro- <laughs> rocks have cleavage. Yeah, how they, how they break. Yeah. No, the ro- rocks yeah. do right, have cleavage. Now Peter's hard. Yeah. <laughs> He's the interested. rock. Rock. I hope they all. Every iteration of rock. I hope they have cleavage. I really uh, like uh, early rocks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> I like pebbles. <laughs> 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 he's a sweet kid, but uh, yeah, he's just he's, he's obsessed, obsessed with pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail. It's like pebbles. Yeah. <laughs> I never grew out of it. He told me it was a boulder. He told me it was a boulder. <laughs> she told me she was a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid. stupid. Dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever take earth science? No. Oh, I really? Took, did I take earth science? I don't know. what I took chemistry. Earth science also like comp like it's more like like weather and like um, meteorology and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I would have loved to have taken kids. that, but I had to do the I did the AP classes. Oh, oh nice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at a smarty. Wow. <laughs> credits. Yeah, I did AP, um, and it was chemistry. Yeah, AP chemistry. So you like blew it a couple times. It was like you were like you had that. <laughs> But you know, because now, no, <laughs> what I mean in the sense of it's like, Jesus. no, but you have like AP science credits, and then you go to like, because I know that you went to art school for yeah. college. So it's no, like I you went have for grad school. Oh, for grad school. So okay. I did use the credits when I went to my undergrad. Oh, okay. And so. Where did you go to undergrad? UC San Diego. Okay. And then where did you go to graduate school? Pratt. Oh, nice. That's, that's, that's how you got to New York. York. Yeah. yeah, that's oh, how I cool. got to New York. That's why I've been, I've been here since I was 22. And what was your major? Um, my major was media studies with a minor in art history. Hell yeah. Yeah. So do you do art? I did. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't do, do it anymore. I do photography and stuff. I mean, not really. Not I even do as miss like a hobby? I wish I could take more pictures, but I used film. I used analog film. That's really hard and yeah. expensive. Yeah, so it's very expensive, very yeah. hard. I think once I have um a little bit more stability in my Go back career. To I'll probably start taking bring a camera with what me. What did you like taking pictures of people? I places? did portraits. Yeah. Oh wow! I love doing portraits. Portraits are so cool. Mm-hmm. She took a picture of me. Really? And your mom saw it. Did I take a picture of you? Yeah, yeah. In your apartment, I forget it was, and your mom was like, "Who's that?" Drink of water or oh whatever. Oh Jesus! Yes, yeah. she did. She, she probably did. would. He yeah. looks like a tall Italian boy. I need boy. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need it. 
Yeah. I'm not oh a yeah, I said you were standing by my windows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Naked. Yeah. That's not <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> Well, it was tasteful. Yeah. <laughs> it was always tasteful. Yeah. <laughs> Just your hand <laughs> right over your dick. <laughs> no, no, we put a book there because he smart. reads. Yeah, that's smart, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You did say tasteful. I should have known it was yeah, a book. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it was Proust. <laughs> Proust. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dumb, I don't know who that is. Marcel. Marcel Proust? Yeah. What did yeah. he write? She? It was a man. He's mm. a, f- a Frenchman. Frenchman. Yeah. Very snobbish. snobbish. People who bring up Proust are very snobby. But it's oh. also like media studies. I feel like he also didn't he ta- he talked about. I f- I'm not really familiar with. Him. Mm. I know his work. I know his name, but I don't really know his work that well. I don't. I uh, I don't I'm not familiar at all. I just know it's a punchline. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Proust? I just that's what I Come know. Come on. It just sounds funny. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'll tell you a stupid thing about me. Um, when I was younger, my mom bought me this anthology of like all these classics, like mm-hmm. Around the World in 80 Days, The Great Gatsby. Dickens, like all sorts of, and I read all of them. I was a big reader when I was a kid, and I thought I read all of those actual classics when I was in fifth grade, and then I got to high school, <laughs> and they handed me like a real Dickens novel, and I was like, oh, I already read this, and they were like, oh, really? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is what happens. All they were like, yeah, I don't think <laughs> this is like real Charles Dickens, and I was like. I opened it up. I was like, "Whoa, these words are <laughs> these words are huge. <laughs> Where do you get all these words? <laughs> Holy <laughs> heck!" <laughs> so wait, what did you read? Uh, I what was it? I remember like uh, or th- it was like f- like four kids adaptations oh, of I classics. See. Oh, but I thought I had read them all. <laughs> <laughs> you just never grew out of it. <laughs> yeah, this kid's brilliant. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> this false confidence. She's yeah. like, oh, no, I am I was reading Dickens at age 10. 10, yeah. <laughs> I love Dickens. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just starting to think of like kid versions of like Moby Dick. It's like, uh, how do you Dick. tell these stories? It's just like, oh, and then at the end, they're friends. They yeah. become friends. Like, uh, the, there's horrible stuff that happens. And yeah, they dumb it down a little bit. A little um, I remember journey to a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a dog instead of a whale. <laughs> a journey to the center of the earth. You ever uh, read that one? No, no. but I, I mean, Invisible uh, Man. Uh, what, you know what's great about titles? I know exactly what the mo- those books are about. Because you've seen the movies. Well, just because it's like uh, it's Invisible Man. Like, all right, that's movie. It's, 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 it's a book about an Invisible Man, and then yeah. Journey to the Center of the Earth. You're like, I think I know what's going to happen in this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> yeah. I think I know where they're headed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I got a pretty good idea yeah. Yeah. about the plot. Of yeah. this story. I like when books are named like that, not like Sacred Wind or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, fuck, I don't want to guess. Just let me know what I'm getting into. Yeah. But, um. Sorry, I yawned. It's I okay. You want some coffee? No, I had some tea already. Nice. I can't have coffee. Not on the way I like on it. On your 30? Yeah. You can have black coffee. Oh, okay. But you can't do black coffee. I don't like black coffee. I like Aren't tea, though. Aren't you drinking though. lattes? Yeah, I was drinking lattes. That's like why I was so before fat. Before Whole Thirty, you're saying. Before Whole Thirty, oh, I was. Oh, I thought he was saying that that was your like new thing. I was like, Caitlin, that's <laughs> not. That's not a good diet. No, I was having but like one to two lattes every single day. Yeah. And Whole then milk. I stopped doing, and I literally just dropped. Yeah. So much weight. But you can't drink black coffee. I can't not yet. I might try, either. but honestly, I like tea so much that I'm fine with it. Tea's fantastic. I've been drinking a lot of chamomile, um, chamomile. <laughs> What just happened? I worked at a. I worked <laughs> at a. My first job ever. I worked. Is that at how Moby Dick said it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I worked at a barista as a barista at this place called a Sparks Coffee, and it was like a bootleg uh, Starbucks owned by Koreans, on Steinway Street, and on this particular block of Steinway Street, there was a transgender. Uh, Tread um, lightly. I am. <laughs> Easy now. I'm picking my words. <laughs> <laughs> a transgender like reform house, like where like this people would take them in and be like, "Oh, you have nowhere to live. Oh. Like you've been kicked oh out that's of your very house." Nice. Yes, and they loved this coffee shop. And one day, uh, this uh, trans woman came in, and she said, "Can I have a chamomile tea?" <laughs> <laughs> and it took everything in my power <laughs> not, not to laugh so fucking hard. But I feel like if you did laugh. That'd be like if we're like, hey, you're, you're, you know, it's a more accepting to She didn't know she left. was saying it wrong. Oh. <laughs> she wasn't trying to be funny. Oh, she wasn't? No, no, no. She thought it was commandment tea. Yeah. So you can't laugh. If and you're I the went home and serving, you can't laugh at anybody. No. Immediately told that family to my mother and she thought it was so funny. <laughs> Kamamamile. <Commandment mile. laughs> She's like, like they're that. confused about everything. That's more fun. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, they do have more fun, huh? Well. <laughs> the gays got it figured out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, in New York, yeah. I feel like, yeah, you have to go to New York and L.A. I, I don't think gays are having that much fun in Montana. Yeah, no. right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. In, you're right. in, in uh, Billings. Yeah. yeah. I guess I should call it the LGBTQ community. IA. There's more letters. There's more letters. There's more letters. I know it's a, yeah, it's like hacky to call, it, but it, it, there are IA and then yeah. At what point do you just? just I think you should just change it at a certain point. Like it just you can't just keep adding letters. Queer. I think queer is the yes. new uh, blanket statement that queer. sort of uh, uh, lets you know that you're yeah yeah. Queerness is an interesting concept because, like. Do you have to act upon it? Like, if you have a gay dream, are you like, are you part of the queer? Am I queer? You had a gay dream? I've had gay dreams. Really? Not frequent. It's not like always, but it's every now and again. You're like, huh? I think <laughs> it's like a little Kinsey scale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is a scale. It's a yeah. spectrum. It's so a I'm spectrum. part of the uh, LGBTQIA community. Nice. Come out to a show. Come out to a show. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Brooklyn. Well, you are a vegetarian. I'm like you. <laughs> Come stick out with the cow and sit. Look how he's sitting. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got some sweetness in me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, when you came to New York, though, like I always curious of people coming to New York. I used to hate people who used to come to New York, and I don't know why it just bothered me. But yeah. like now, I have so much respect mm. because like just you're leaving everything. You everything. Know? Yeah, like I showed up with two re- suitcases. Oh really? And I lived in a hostel in Bed Stuy. Holy shit! And there were shit. cockroaches. When everywhere. you were going to Pratt? For the first like two weeks, I was in this hostel. Really? Until I found an apartment, and then I found an apartment, but I didn't have an address to like buy a mattress, so I had to sleep on the floor for like a month. No oh way! My yeah, God. and everyone yeah. has that story. Like that's just great. Like that yeah. story, everyone's like, "Oh yeah, I know." Then if you come from another place, I feel like that's not uncommon, especially if you're not loaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was poor as hell. I had a credit card with a limit of fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, and I bought. I used five hundred on a mattress. Jeez yeah. Louise, good for you. They didn't provide good lodging for for, for yeah. Pratt. Thank you. Not for master students. They don't, and it, it they do, but it's so expensive. Yeah, it's not like worth you can't. It. it was like for a w- to live in like a communal space was like two grand a month, Oof. and so I was able to find a place, a one bedroom for like eight hundred. What? Not a one bedroom, a one bedroom in a three. Bedroom oh, but apartment. still, gotcha, and gotcha. It was across right. the street. It was great. That is great. Yeah, that was also a great apartment, but it was very loud because it was on Lafayette. Okay. Which, uh, like buses yeah, would yeah, come yeah, yeah. every time. It was right near the G train and everything. So location was great for travel, but sleeping. I was in the front facing room. That's incredible. I didn't realize. So you so you said you slept. <laughs> so you didn't have a. So you just slept on the floor. Mm-hmm. But like, what do you did you put like sheets down or something? Yeah, or? I put sheets down. Right, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, a little but yoga I mat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I think I did. I think I used a yoga mat and um, some. Uh, I think I bought like a comforter, and so it was still the summertime when I moved, so it was still hot. Did your so parents like know? Yeah, my parents knew. And they're like, "How's it going over there?" And you're and just like, like, "No, I have a bed." <laughs> I was like, no, it's "Not good. great." Yeah. <laughs> no, Not my good. mom was always very concerned. Yeah, of course. My dad was like, "Yeah, she's fine." You know, she'll so. figure it out. Yeah, and you did. And I did, and now I'm fine. <laughs> 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 and now I know it could always be worse. <laughs> it could always be worse. That's yeah, true. The floor is not that bad. But did you ever feel like by. you made a mistake though? Because you're there sleeping on a floor. I mean, maybe the first night you're like, all right, like there's some romanticism about it. You're sure, like, I'm gonna make it. Right. Yeah. I'm in New York. This is what it, it's tough. And then wha- I mean, how I long does that last? Right. I never had romanticism about New York. Oh really? No, I literally. This is how I came to New York. I googled top ten art schools in the country mm-hmm. for a master's program, and Pratt was on the list, and I applied and I got in, and so I went. Did you apply to RISD? I didn't apply to RISD. I knew I wasn't good enough for RISD. Oh, um, they, oh, they're like, like that's. Yeah, like there's a few. The they're like the top five the are like incredible, and I was like, there's no way, and so I basically did the bottom five, and uh, I got into only one of them, and it was Pratt. And then when I got to New York, I was like. Oh, this is exactly where I belong. Yeah. I fit in immediately. That's cool. And I loved it. That is cool. Because yeah. you're originally from? San Francisco. Right. Bay Area. Bay Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I've never been to the Bay. No? It's really? crazy. You got to go. It's cool. I know. I can't wait to go. It's like I'm my The top, marine top layer is very nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I thought it was cool. It's very cool. Yeah. I've never heard it called the marine layer. That's what it is, isn't it? The marine layer? Yeah, that's what, it's like what, that's what happens in San Francisco. Why? What do you guys call it? Like the fog. 
We call it the fog. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, <laughs> it's a marine layer. I don't know. Is I'm it? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never ever once thought of it that way. <laughs> no, because yeah, like, yeah, San Francisco's <laughs> foggy as hell. It <laughs> never gets <laughs> over ninety degrees. It stinks. <laughs> but you go anywhere else? <laughs> because when we went there, we I we traveled across country. There's this place called uh, Walnut Creek or whatever. Oh, I know Walnut. My aunt used to live in Walnut Creek. <laughs> yeah, and like it was like ninety degrees. You go to San Francisco, uh, it's like sixty. 60. Yeah. yeah. That's what did Mark Twain say? What did he say? He said the. Uh, coldest winter i ever had was a summer in san francisco that's cute isn't it cute it was so good we live and die by that saying i think mark <laughs> twain i think mark twain i think it was mark twain said that the sunset in croatia is the you most would know you read his book <laughs> i did I read, I read a lot of twain uh to kill a mockingbird is that mark twain no that's uh oh. harper lee oh well which one's uh which one's huckleberry finn huckleberry tom finn. sawyer yeah tom sawyer how was the abridged version characters. of that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah i know i was nicer. the kid version of of his friend. <laughs> and this is uh I know. Jeez, <laughs> Jim. <laughs> He's my black friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He says whisper. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're right. Whispers. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I I, I, I yeah, I that that book it it's it is weird. what do you do with that? Like it's what hard. do you what do you do with it's like art one. like that? Because it is a great book. It's a it's an amazing book. Uh-huh. And but then you have that and you're like Okay, that's not good. No. Are you supposed to just not read that book anymore? I don't think they are reading that book anymore in schools. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not in school, school. but it can be recommended reading. Yeah, <laughs> check this out. Hey, you want to join our yeah, club. Yeah, huh? <laughs> your summer reading list <laughs> yeah. is yeah, uh, Huckleberry Finn, and then what else is like a racist uh, book? Only some Mind kids Kampf. are allowed to read it. What's <laughs> Mein <laughs> Kampf. <laughs> that would never be. I remember one time we had a summer reading list. They are like, you have to read five books. And I read like... I Whoa. read so many books. I wow. was this was like uh, sixth grade or whatever. Yeah. And so they were like, okay, write a summary about the books. And I was like, okay. And so I wrote a summary, but I didn't want to ruin it for them. So I was like, so you'll just have to read it and find <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of every single one. So it probably just looked like I read the backs <laughs> of these <Yeah>. books. <laughs> That's a really good cop out for any children <laughs> listening that want to do But I was so, a I had read report. them. I had read them all. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, no, but you got to read it. And then right. you you'll never it. believe what happens <laughs> and i'm not gonna tell you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the end so dumb <laughs> oh that could be a joke yeah. book right. report i'm gonna write it down you should I'll write that write down until after the f- don't let me forget i'm not gonna listen to this okay <laughs> no we nobody, don't nobody <laughs> does <laughs> 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 yeah let's say you're in good company yeah. <laughs> but our downloads are going up baby they're, they're going sure up are. the downloads are going what, up every no we got more than that yeah, we're co- it's corresponding with my uh, releasing of clips. So yeah. it's like people and him releasing clips. So it's like the, the cross pollination. People are listening. Wow, Jesus! My family thinks I'm Whoa. having a manic yeah, episode, I mean? so they're really listening, which oh, is nice. Good. Everyone it's thinks he's manic. Pod. Really? Yeah. Well, not every, not anymore. But there was a. I, I, me and Katie broke up, and oh uh, no! I know, and uh, everybody was very concerned about me for a long time. And it was really annoying, but they're just doing their job and they love me. And <laughs> it's really annoying. I took my hand back. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean that you would be annoying. No, but no. You know, people worry about me, which is what I asked for, and it's nice. But uh, how oh. do we get into that? Why, why, why do we talk? Oh, the downloads are going up. Because <laughs> <laughs> my whole family's listening. Yeah, that's good. Making What's sure. he saying? Yeah, we yeah. yeah we need. I wish. I mean, I feel like Croats have a big family. You know what I mean? I feel like I wish it, maybe <laughs> if you were Greek, we'd have more listeners. We'd have it's way offensive. more. If I was Greek, I would be famous. What? But what's offensive? Croat. No, that's, that's what they call. say it, Croat. That's what they call themselves. Croatians are. Yeah, Croats. he's a Croat. He's a filthy Croat. <laughs> 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 I mean, it just sounds he's a like dirty, a filthy rock. Croat. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't no, they, sound that's great, and that's how they like to be. Okay. Addressed. I like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Sorry, I keep pushing you over, and I know that we have a very slim margin. Let me see. Uh, do you, how long do you think we've been doing this? I would say probably 32 minutes. Okay. You want to do Herb of the Week? I do. Okay. So Herb of the Week. We do a fun thing on this podcast called <laughs> Herb of the Week where we talk about the Herb of the Week. If you don't know what a Herb is, you're a fucking Herb. You're a dude. Herb. You're a Herb. Yeah. Oh, nice. That felt good, Kate. Thank it you. did feel good. Wow. You I really are from it. New York now. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that right? Didn't it sound good when she yeah, said it? You're a Herb. When a girl <laughs> says it to you? Oh, man. Nightmare situation. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Why? Because it's like you, it's it's a very non like you, there's no uh, possibility of like uh, a romance. Do you know what yes. I mean? It's like if we're younger and some some girls like, oh my god, he's such a herb. You're like, it's over. It's yeah. over. It's worse <laughs> than you're a not, loser. You're not bouncing back from that. No. 
No, it's bad. So who's the Herb of the Week? Justin Roiland, the creator of Rick and Morty. What did he do? What oh, a creep. I Have heard you he was a creep. Tell yeah. me why. Tell me why. Well, uh, first of all, he got arrested for domestic violence uh, in 2020, and now it's just coming out now. So that's, you know, that's... Big red flag. Big <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I know, and it's funny because I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, because they're fans. Like, I liked the first two seasons of Rick and Morty. I really did. And then yeah. I like, fell off or whatever, but... They something got back about on. But something about the fandom, like they kind of suck, like uh-huh. the Rick and Morty fans, and like they're kind of creepy, sweaty, gross, incelish kind of dudes. And I'm like, was there something I was missing? Like, is there like a, like a a, a secret message in those? Like, wha- you know, like how does it, how do you attract the people that you're like, right. but you're not really st- explicitly saying anything. You're just making sure, yeah, sure. So whatever. Was but it domestic abuse and like kidnapping? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So he like yeah. false imprisonment. So he might have locked the door. Might have locked her in a bathroom. Holy mm-hmm. shit! But for uh, how long? But that uh, to be determined. Yeah. Whatever TBD. time, it's too long. It is too long. Yeah. No matter what it is, it's too long. Mm-hmm. But um. And then also, I think it's important. Yeah. <laughs> right. Context. <laughs> <Good job>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's trying to get laid. <laughs> I won't lock you up. I think it's bad. Right. <laughs> Unless you like newly it. Newly single Matt. <laughs> well, you we can't talk about that. We can't talk about newly single Matt. Oh, we, uh, Jesus. You know, why there, there's some rules. I don't know why. I, I don't know why you would think that. No. It's not a button. Okay. Peter, Peter's being a little bit. Peter's <laughs> being a herb. <laughs> being a herb? <laughs> what? I just want to know. Stop being a herb. I want to know. Okay. Listen, he has a full life doing other things. You know, we uh, probably maybe just being respectful to his ex-lady. I would yeah, imagine. imagine that. But for how long? <laughs> <laughs> how long do we have to wait? No, okay. it'll come. It'll right, come. It'll be time. Yeah, he'll let us know. And his whole family's listening, so he really does. <laughs> 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 he's taking it to Pound Town. He doesn't need to <laughs> his mom right. to know. Yeah. He's a he's a nice young boy. He's but what nice else? Why is this else is this guy? Her oh, but uh, I feel like anytime some one thing comes out, then like a lot of things of come out now. Yeah. So then th- I saw a lot of these screenshots that he was sending to like sixteen year olds. No. Uh, being like uh, calling them jail bait and no. But he like <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Like he texts in character. He's like he, he like way he types it, he types like like uh, Morty. It's oh my god, that's it's insane! Oh god. You think that's funny? That's the I creepiest mean it's thing l- of all. <laughs> 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 but it's just like his brain's so sick. You yeah, know? yeah, like that's he's like a sick man. Yeah. Well, Peter's favorite comic is Chris D'Elia, so I get it. <laughs> oh, come on, I mean he's an Italian like me. He tells it like it is. <laughs> Did you watch? It's the all doc? alleged. It's all alleged. I didn't watch the doc yet. Me neither. But I what is that? It, like I don't understand. Like it's all can 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 there be a woman who's a creep in comedy? Like I just sure, want yeah. one. Well, wha- who? Kaylin Palufo. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I say it on stage. I'm a creep. I'm a creep. I like them pretty small and young. <laughs> That's <yeah>. my joke. <laughs> it sounds like I think that. I said it on Corden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty small and young. Hilarious. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I didn't. That. They actually wouldn't let me say You're that. You're like, please don't. <laughs> yeah, we actually, understand. we're going to edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> She was on Corden, which is cool, and you should check it out. Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> or not. It doesn't sound like <laughs> you should. <laughs> no, it's like, I, I, yeah, it's What? Good. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> I was about to say it was the most proud I've ever been. <laughs> okay. That is, That's you nice, should be. Right? Yeah, that was very cool. Late night is cool. It's and good I, to be I, proud. I, yeah. <laughs> But that's not cool to say, <laughs> so that's why but I that you were proud? stumbled on saying it. That. is cool to be proud. I'm sick of people not being proud of their work. You should be proud. It's a very cool accomplishment. Take your wins. People never get the flowers while they can still smell them. And you uh, used to sleep on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> used, to, used sleep to sleep on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I and don't want to say I'm proud of being on TV. <laughs> it's not a clean apartment. No. It no. was bad. It was a very bad situation, but it got better. Well, I, I think we gotta people. wrap this up because you gotta run, and I and and it took us two hours to set this whole thing up. No, but nice. look at us now. Yeah. Uh, thank you so <laughs> much for listening to Two Burrows with Caitlin Palufo. Where can they find you, Caitlin? At Caitlin Palufo. How do you spell that? C a i t l i n p e l u f f o. Nice. You got a whole jingle. Yeah, seven and seven. Wow, it's great. that's it's very fun. fun. It's a pattern. Anyway, uh, Instagram, please. Thank you. I was on a podcast follow. called Good Time Gal. Ah. Oh, that's G- fun. I yes. did her podcast. Yeah, it was both a, of these was, sweet boys did it. It was a great time. It's been a while since I've been on it. Yeah, me oh. too. I okay. did it during COVID. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. It, Peter did it maybe three years like ago. Like the first Four one. Four years ago. It was nice. like the first or second one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we did it in that apartment that you were living yeah, in, Sterling, it was. in your room. It was I think bad. I was talking about drinking and driving. Uh-oh. Yes, you really did it a lot. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. He doesn't That's true. do it anymore. I'm saved now. I'm, I'm married. Hey. Saved. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so much for listening to Two Burrows. Thank Please you. like, subscribe, uh, comment, share. We love you all so much. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.